this is 37 Rust Dog back again with another Transformers review. And this time, this is over my Transformers, um, I'm going to call it my Beast Wars, slash, and my new series that I'm working on called Predacon Wars. Uh, he's going to be more like a, he's a, a mix between a, I'm going to say a Commander Cat class, yeah, I can't even speak today, a Commander, a, a Commander class, and Deluxe class, Scorponok. Yeah, I, d I made this uh, character uh, yesterday. Uh, it took me a while to uh, come up with some pieces for him. But as you can see, he's made from a construct bot. These are from Kickback. And you notice, you got this little bulb right here. And that's what he's sitting on right now. I mean, it was a cool idea. I mean, since I'm working on a new project called Predacon Wars. Not Beast Wars. But Predacon Wars. Different storyline. Yep, I, and I got some comparisons to uh, go with this guy. But anyway, to transform him, since some of the paint is still wet, I mean, it's dry, but it's kind of sticky. Now, in order to transform this guy, what, what you do first is bring the tail down, but before you do that, you got to open up the legs just barely. Bring the tail all the way back. Turn it. Now, here's the cool part. While he's like this, you can also do this. I just uh, discovered this uh, special mode right here. This is more likely his, um, his uh, what do they call it, the combat mode. Just like that right here. And to finish transforming him, what you do is bring the tail all the way out. Now, since this is a construct bot piece, and yes, construct bot pieces do tend to fall off, you're just going to take this, I'm going to try angle this up a little bit, you're going to turn it like that, where it's lined up just like that, and you leave it just like that for right now. When you come back here to the head, you're going to flip this down, Revealing his other head, and this is the reason why I like this custom because it's the way I uh, designed it. Then you take these legs and easily close them in because the glue is still drying, but it does have the tendency to break off. And you leave it pretty much like that, semi. That's about as far as you can bring them in. Now we're gonna go come up to the top. Yes, this figure can be a little bit confusing. But we're going to bring these arms down, turn the claws in, bring the arms down. And the reason why I'm kind of going all over the whole place, you'll see why. Then you turn the head, but since the cool part of it is the head is based off of a uh, top spin, which works perfect for this figure. Then you got the head turned like that. Then what you're going to do is turn the knees first, bring them in, reach up here, pop that loose, drop those down, same thing on the other side. You notice my hands are pretty much covered in paint right now. But what the heck, it's all about having fun when customizing figures and, re and showcasing them. Now the cool part of it is, you can take the tail and bring it all the way up and you can also use it as a um, laser, as a weapon. Like you did, like um, the original uh, Scorponok did on uh, the Beast Wars. But like I said, this is my very, my my storyline uh, Predacon Wars. Big difference. I just thought of it right out of the blue. And there he is. Now we're going to go ahead and kind of zoom around with him. I mean, he's cool looking, actually. And there's not, I mean, yeah, Granny has a lot of back kibble, but bottom line, he's actually cool, cool, um, designed the way I did, when I designed him. Now, to put him with his, uh, counterparts for my, uh, stop motion project called, like I said, Predacon Wars. We got Scorponok. We have Black Arachnia, which she's a real pain in the butt to stand. 
So that's the reason why I have to use her tail to uh, brace her. So that way she kind of leans, but not leans. But of course I can always bend the knees too. Set her up just like that. Now on this side we got, well actually we're going to kind of keep it pretty much the same height. Like some of the short guys to one side, taller ones to the right or left or whatever. Then we got Waspinator right here, which I redid the wings because apparently I lost mine. So I took the uh, the kind of capish deal off of uh, uh, what was his name? Thunderwing, I think that his name. He was at uh, Predacon uh, Voyager from the Beast Hunters. Oh no, Thundertron. That's who I took the uh, wings from. And there's Big Daddy Megs. So when we do the the panoramic, as I call it, we got wasp. But, well, actually, we got gas skunk, which is the uh, the one with the green head. Then we got scorponok, black arachnia, waspinator, and big daddy cool Megatron himself. I just did, redid the uh, paint job on his shoulders. But here's the new uh, characters for the Predacon Wars uh, series. Now, Scorponok, I'm going to debut, I'm going to bring him in towards the middle. Uh, it's going to be a three-part episode, but I'm going to bring Scorponok in to um, as a new character, so that way it ends up being five on four. Then, of course, later on, and the third, in episode three, Optimus Prime joins him. But if you notice what I did to Scorponok, Remember the G.I. Joe figures that they came out with? The um, the one, I can't think of their names. But they had like the, they were part of the, uh, oh, what was it? The G.I. Joe, um, oh, what the, it'll hit me eventually. Because um, they had uh, Heavy Duty, Scarlet, Duke, and Snake Eyes. I'm trying to think of the name of it, but I can't think of it, but watch, it'll pop in my head later on. But anyway, I took the, they were supposed to be of the, oh, I'm going to call them, well, there's a certain name that they had, but they had the helmets with the um, ugly looking bug eyes. If you know the name of them, just please drop me a line. But um, I took the lenses off to make them his eyes, which I'll show you again, which actually turned out really cool. Made them look more like a, the scorpion eyes. But anyway... This is my new lineup for uh, the Predacon Wars. And since we're since y'all got a sneak peek of my um, new Megatron custom for the storyline, he turned out really well. He's based off the um, the War for Cybertron Grimlock. But until then, this is 37 Rust Dog signing off.